scribbling in your notebook, Zoe. Whose handwriting is this? Uh, Jill Pascal. I sit next to her in my homeroom. Jill the Hill, who's on the pill? Hey, what's her number? Don't be so quick to judge. She's on the pill because she has to be. For acne? No, because she's constantly having sex. <laughs> With who? With me, if you give me your number. With her tennis pro at the bubble. That is so New York. Why am I not having sex with my tennis pro at the bubble? You don't take lessons. Maybe I should take lessons. I mean, I've never actually, you know, played tennis. I mean, you know, I've practiced against the wall a few times. I know. Sometimes I think I should just get it over with. Yeah, and besides, to hear Jill talk about it, it's like tennis is the greatest sport on earth. I think you'd be very good at tennis. You're very agile. <laughs> Well, maybe I should go talk to Iris. She always said I could go talk to her if I was ever thinking of playing tennis. Your mom would put you in a convent before she let you play tennis. <laughs> Why would her mom tennis say... Tennis is sex. Oh. Oh. at the cable bill here and somebody seems to have authorized the throbbing channel. I was gonna pay for it. It's not the money. That'll be coming out of your allowance. But if you want to watch the throbbing channel, we should watch it together so I can answer your questions. Okay. Okay. So, any questions? <laughs> Mom, we didn't even see anything. The delivery guy's still holding the pizza box. <laughs> can I at least turn down the moaning so we can talk? Now, what do you want to know? Ask me anything. I was thinking about having sex. <laughs> what? Now losing the old V, popping the proverbial... Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop talking now. I get it. Wait, don't tell me you have a problem with this. You said I could ask you anything. Is there anyone in particular with whom you are in love? No. I thought I'd try it first, practice before love. <laughs> what do you think? I'm hearing that you're curious, but uh, <laughs> I think I better tell you I'm not completely comfortable with this. What happened to the woman who took me to the Grateful Dead when I was three? She's still here. Nothing's changed. Don't go near that door. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. Here's your notebook. What a great read. Very steamy. What's steamy? Nothing, Mom. Nothing steamy. Well, I could see why you'd be a little jaded. I'll just turn this off. I think we've all seen three people having sex before. <laughs> Mrs. Bean, you seem flustered. I'm fine. You want me to take Zoe? Get her out of your hair? You do, and I'll break your ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Good one. Jane, let's go over to your house. Our house is out. Mom had another episode. Yeah, she finally went over the edge looking at your finger clothes. <laughs> They're not my... I hate you. Die. I'm coming. Oh, boy. Hi, Angela. Is Duncan here? Haven't seen him. Oh, yeah. Hey, Angela. Don't touch me. <laughs> Oh, my God. Mom, don't read that. Hey, if you see Duncan, tell him I've got a sweet pair of lips just waiting for him. Do you mind if I paraphrase? <laughs> That's little Angela from the playground. Friendly, huh? She certainly grew up. What does she want with Duncan? She's been after him for years. She wants to jump his bones. <laughs> Our little Duncan? Doing some trailblazing? I had to climb up the fire escape. Angela's been staking out my front door. Some idiot told her my mom was out of town. I'm sorry. It's OK if I stay here for a little while? Oh, of course you can. Whoa. Mom, what are you doing? I'm inviting Duncan to stay. I didn't know you were open to house guests. 
Jack, how many times are you going to try that? Why don't you do back at the carnival? Oh, 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 you see that? You know you don't have to stay here. I'm on the lamb, Zoe. I seek refuge. Wait, I don't even know why you're so afraid of Angela. I mean, you know she just likes you. She's too rough. <laughs> you know, her and her friends, they catcall me when I walk by. It makes me feel cheap. You're always welcome here, Duncan. Thank you, Mrs. Bean. Mom, you're not helping Duncan by letting him hide out here. I mean, if some hot Latin woman wants to ravage him at some point, he's, he's gonna have to deal with that. Well, not right now. He's staying with us. See, I know you don't want to believe this, but Duncan's actually ready for experiences. What's the plunger for? It's my plunger. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's not ready. So, Dr. Noble, what can we do for you? We're here to talk about your mother's treatment. Oh, right, right. Where is Mom? <laughs> I sent her away for a while to the meadows to rest. Nice going. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? This is a place of healing. As is evident, you both have a tendency to sublimate your feelings for each other. Unfortunately, it is counterproductive to maintaining your mother's state of mental well-being. That's what I've been saying. I've never heard you say that. Jack, that's because you never listen. What? I said that. La, 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 la. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be frank. I have tried a number of different therapies with your mother, and nothing seems to have had the desired effect. I'd like to try some role playing. Now, I think your mother's best chance of recovery is for the two of you to start acting like the loving twins that she sees you as. She sees us as loving? <laughs> that's just delusional. <laughs> Clearly. What kind of therapy is that? I've never heard of it. Either you two pretend to like each other, or your mother goes on a course of selective reuptake inhibitors which will render her catatonic. We'll, we'll have, have to, to think, think about, about it. it. Mom, what are all these post-its doing in the Kama Sutra? We saved the puppy's ear for you. Mom, aren't you going to answer my question? In a couple of years, dear. Now hurry before there's nothing left but sky. So we have to go to France. How long will you be in France? Oh, it's just a quick trip. OK, fine, we'll wait outside. What are we doing? Go to France is Duncan's code for I have to go to the bathroom. He can't go if anyone's in the house. I didn't know that. Go to France. That is so cute. Yeah, it'll be real cute when he's 30. Why do you have to be in such a hurry to grow up? Is this position good for beginners? Look, I can see that you're inquisitive and exploring, and I want to be supportive, Zoe. I really do. Ow, my fingers. Oh, sorry. I just wasn't prepared for it to happen so soon. But this is when it happens. I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I felt exactly the same way. And I just wish somebody had been there to tell me that sex isn't all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes it can be very disappointing. Jill says it's great. Oh, well, good for Jill. Coast is clear. <laughs> Who's hungry? I would go for some cheeseless pizza. Cheeseless pizza! <laughs> Most people call it bread, Mom. Look, um, I'm feeling a little cooked up. I think I'm going to go out, check out the action. Oh, well, we'll go with you. Oh, I'm not going. Angela's out there looking for me. Don't worry about Angela. I'll, I'll protect everybody tonight. Maybe we should try being nice to each other, for Mom's sake. All right, for Mom's sake. Remember last year when we spent the whole summer at the Meadows on Thorazine? She was so happy. Always humming. Lost 20 pounds. She's never looked better. Remember how mad she was when she had to come home? And we're about to yank her out of there again. How could we do that to her own mother? What kind of children are we? Hi, kids. Zoe, your mom's here. Yep. Can't seem to shake her. She's here to protect us. You know, it's funny you're here, because I had a dream we dined together. Not tonight, Jack. OK. You missed that Cardi. He was here all alone, right for picking. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. I had a really hot opening line I was going to use on him, too. Is this Zach someone special? Just a guy. OK, see, now you're just baiting me. Well, oh, excuse me. I have to go call my mother and hang up. I beg your pardon? So she'll know I'm OK. <laughs> I think Duncan's your most interesting friend. So how's your mom? We have to go see her psychiatrist again. He's really not doing a good job. Yeah, for a doctor, he's just not very bright. <laughs> He thinks if she's surrounded by a loving family that cares about her, somehow she'll be happier. Sounds like a real idiot. Yeah. yeah. 
We're gonna go over there and tell him off. Hey, Duncan. You look good. Thanks, I was just using the phone. Yeah? No, why are you always racing off? Uh, I have to go, I'm with people. I'm people. Yes, you are. <laughs> Could you step back? Because I think I'm gonna pass out. Man. We thought about it. And? We're gonna pass. You're passing? Yeah. On what? On your recommendation that we try to get along. Let's face it, the Meadows is the Plaza Hotel with drugs. We're gonna bottom line this for you. We love our mother. And she's happier where she is than she would be watching us pretend to be nice to each other. I don't think you understand. The ball is not in your court. You see, the alternative for the two of you not getting along is to both go stay with your Aunt Barbara in Poughkeepsie. In the, in the trailer? trailer? I understand it's double wide. <laughs> with outdoor plumbing. Oh, God, garden gnomes. On the astroturf. I love you, Jane. I love you too, Jack. I got your monkey blanket for you, Duncan. And there was this note. It's from Angela. What's it say? I don't know. I can't read all the words with the lipstick. Uh, Duncan. Hey, do you think you might like some cinnamon toast? Mom, you have to stop coddling him. Well, then let me coddle you. Mm, I'm past coddling. <laughs> Duncan isn't. He, he's clinging to his childhood in an almost unnatural way. Why can't you be more like him? <laughs> you want me to be more like Duncan? I want to know why you're in such a rush to have sex. Maybe I just want to get it over with, okay? Do you guys have a bag of frozen peas? That's an interesting bedtime snack. No, no. I have to put it on the bruises that Angela gave me. Oh, I don't have peas. I have okra. Oh, I don't like okra. Well, you're all set. Oh, look at you in your pajamas. Mom, <laughs> this isn't a slumber party. You remember when you used to stay here all the time? The only thing you ever worried about was whether or not I'd let you stay up an extra half hour. <laughs> When was that? That was like 10 years ago. We were in kindergarten. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. We've moved on. We're adults now. You two used to take baths together. Mm, that reminds me. I have this question about <laughs> circumcision. <laughs> OK, bedtime. Good night, Duncan. Good night. Good night, Duncan. A little overindulgent. Some kids like an affectionate mother. He was there, Zoe. It's not a big deal. It's, it's my fault. I tend to sleepwalk. I should have told you to lock your doors. That's what my mother does. Don't worry, Duncan. No harm done. Really? So it doesn't even occur to you how wildly inappropriate this is? We slept in the same bed. It was completely innocent. It's Duncan. It's weird, but it's Duncan. He's just a little boy. I'm starting to hate myself. <laughs> Maybe I should just go home. You can't go. You don't want Angela to get you. Sit down. I'm gonna make you some pancakes. I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable. Oh, don't be silly. Come on, Zoe, you like pancakes. I don't eat breakfast anymore. Oh, I'm not hungry. Oh, you kids used to love pancakes. Oh, Zoe. What? I have to go to France. <sighs> For how long? I think it's gonna be a whole European tour. <laughs> you realize it's time for Duncan to go home? He's not ready. You have to let him grow up. But he shouldn't grow up too fast. He might regret it. But it's his decision. Zoe, I don't want you having sex. Who are you having sex with, Zoe? 
Apparently, it doesn't matter. Oh. Meanwhile, I'm the one who slept alone last night. You got my attention. Duncan and I slept in the same bed together. Zoe is making way too big a deal out of it. <laughs> yeah, well, that would just be... What? It was don't, just... Don't, don't even talk to me. Well, don't you two look adorable. We're dressed this way because we love each other. We're loving twins. Why are we out in the hall? Duncan's in France. There goes the morning. Tell me, how is it you two ended up in the same bed? Sleepwalking. Sleepwalking. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm sorry about the imposition. You know, thank you for everything. You really gave me a lot to think about. What if Angela's down there? Why does everybody think I'm so afraid of Angela? <laughs> oh, hey, matching outfits. You finally took my advice. Duncan, wait. No, Mom, it only adds to the weird if you're chasing Duncan down the hall in your nighty. Zoe, he's upset. I'll talk to him. Yoo-hoo, Duncan. <laughs> Sorry, I scared you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> wow. I haven't been in here in a long time. Yeah, I know it hasn't changed much. You've got your plunger. Yeah, where I'm going, I don't need that. What? Yeah, I'm not a little boy anymore. It's time to face Angela. Duncan, she'll eat you alive. I can handle her. I might even have sex with her. Do you have feelings for her? I just want to get it over with. Wow. Really? You just want to get it over with? Oh, hey, look, you still have Mr. Mouth. Come on, let's play. That's uh, missing the lily pad. Oh. <sighs> well, I gotta go. Not getting any younger. Have you seen Duncan around? No. He's so elusive. It's, it's true. true. You guys are freaky. See ya. <laughs> Pass the sugar. Here you go. Thanks. You gonna finish that? No, help yourself. Thank you. Angela's, Angela's looking, looking for you. you. That's good, because I'm looking for her. It's nice to see you two getting along so well. Hi, Angela. There you are. I knew you'd come around. Well, here I am. I want you. And you don't say no to me. I'm not gonna. What? God, you're cute, you're sexy, you're shorter than me, and that's important. Are you hitting on me? Yeah. Yes, I am. Let's go. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Now, look, if you want Angela, then you call her up and ask her out on a date. Understand? I think so. <laughs> Okay, then. See ya. Life is so unpredictable. Duncan, good. Here. It's my plunger. I know you don't think you need this, but you do. You need to grab it and hold on to it in an almost unnatural way. Thank you. I, I know this is an important moment in my life. What does it mean? You can't sleep with Angela. She's a slut and a whore. <laughs> what kind of sick doctor are you? We're on to you. We checked it out. Mom's not at the Meadows. She's a Canyon Ranch spa with her lover. We know all about your twisted scheme to get us to be nice to each other. Are you the devil? <laughs> I work for your parents. They pay me a lot of money. You actually thought you could get us to like each other? <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to go to a better school than Harvard. Nice try, Doc. Come on, Jane. Are you the devil classic? You never knew it hit him. You really nailed him. No, you. No, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Duncan! Duncan, let me in. Angela chased me all around the neighborhood. You shouldn't have said those things about it. I was trying to help you. I know. Thank you. I stay here for a while. I'm 
on the lamb. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. God. I was thinking about having sex. You think we should? Might be strange, but we could try it. <laughs> Not with you. I meant in general. <laughs> of course. Duncan? Do you ever think about having sex with me? Do you ever think about having sex with me? We'll both answer at the same time. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, look, for fun. Oh, you want to play? Yes. Duncan, this is fun. This is just like the old days. <laughs> yeah. The next thing you know, we'll be taking a bath together. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> Zoe, are you in there? 